We are coming in to share what forest you brings. Well, we must be careful not to fall into Robin Hood's hands. Have you already seen this fellow? Yes, Your Grace. He and his men wear green clothing so that they can't easily be picked out in the forest. <laughs> They're a cunning lot, then. But if they attack us, we'll make short work of them. Halt! Who are you? What do you want? I'm Robin Hood, and I want the gold that you've got in that coach. <laughs> you rascal! That gold, I tell you, is King Richard's ransom. You're lying. You know perfectly well that that gold is being taken to the usurper, Prince John. How dare you say that, you rogue? Give me the gold. I'll see that it gets to Austria to ransom our king. That's enough! Take him, guards! Come on, my filly men! Go on, guards, take him! Don't have any mercy on him. Go, you bold men, and aim true. Surrender and your lives will be spared. You've got me at your mercy, Robin Hood. But one day we'll meet again. I hope we don't for your sake. Come on, men, let's take the gold and then they can go. You'll find yourself on the scaffold one day, I tell you, when Prince John hears about your activities. I recognize only King Richard. Prince John is a scoundrel whom I scorn because he wants to rob our true sovereign of his throne. Prince John will hear every word that you say. I'm not afraid of him. He's a coward and a traitor. One day, Robin Hood, I'm going to have the pleasure of putting a rope round your neck. Come on, men. Let's leave this rascal. What do you know about this man, Robin Hood, Sergeant? Oh, his real name is Lord Loxley, Your Grace. Oh, yes, I remember. The outlaw who was fighting against Prince John to get King Richard back onto his throne. That's right, Your Grace. Oh, he's an ambitious fellow, I can see. But he's really nothing more than a common highway thief. He robs the rich to give to the poor, Your Grace. The people all support him. Has he any relatives? He's got a distant cousin, the Lady Marion. He's in love with her. Oh, yes. I know her. She's very beautiful. And she's very rich. And you say he's in love with her? Yes. That's interesting. Very interesting. I think we've got a way of reaching Robin Hood. Can that be? I've never seen such a big man in my life. Hey, you! Over there on the other side of the river! Yes? Your legs are so long that you could cross this river in a couple of strides. Ah, oh, that may be. All the same, I'm going to walk across this tree trunk here. Everybody uses it as a bridge. You'll have to wait for me. I was here first. Oh, come on now. That's not quite true. We arrived at the same time. All right, then. I'm going to cross first. Why should I give way to you? Because I'm the stronger man. Oh, oh. just wait until I get near you. Then I'll give you a taste of my stick. Come on, then, and have a taste of mine. <laughs> I like your reply, Bantam. There seems to be quite a lot of courage in that little frame of yours. <laughs> Listen to me, then. We'll fight it out between us, standing on the tree trunk. And I know who's going to find himself in the river. All right. A fight let it be. Come on, what are you waiting for? Mm, I'm not waiting for anything. I'm just choosing the spot where I'm going to strike you. There you are, take that! <laughs> you don't get me like that. See how you like this! <laughs> My stick was there to parry your blow even before you struck. Come on, let me pass. Never, never. Make way, I'm coming. I'm going to split your head open. He died. 
Who's going to pass first now? Let's forget all that. The scores are even. The best thing you and I can do is to swim to the bank again and let the sun dry us. <coughs> yes, I think you're right. Oh, you're a fine, strong fellow. What's your name? John Little from Nottingham. What's your name? Robin. Are you Robin Hood? Yes, I But am. that's a wonderful piece of luck for me. You're the very man I'm looking for. What is it you want with me? I was in the service of Prince John. May the devil take him. He spends all his time slandering our King Richard. I couldn't stand it any longer. Well, go on. I know that you get men to join your group of followers in order to defend Richard the Lionheart and in order to help the poor. So I say to you now, here I am. You're a good fellow, John Little. From now on, you'll be my lieutenant. And from now on, you'll be known as... You'll be known as... Little John. That's a good <laughs> nickname. <laughs> You're very thoughtful, Your Highness. I'm weighed down with worries, Gisborne. I've got no more money and I'm unpopular with everybody. But you've got a number of devoted friends, Your Highness. Devoted friends? <laughs> a band of hangers-on, a pack of wolves. All they want are the honours and privileges I can bestow on them. Surely you don't doubt my devotion to you? You know perfectly well that it's in your interest to be faithful to me. I don't flatter myself into thinking you like me, Gisborne. As for the country as a whole, all they want to do is to get rid of me. In France, Philip Augustus has taken Touraine and Anjou from me, and now he wants to get Normandy as well. Soon I'll be as poor as the poorest beggar in the streets. I know somebody who can get you out of your difficulties. Oh? Lady Marion Arlingford. Lord Loxley's cousin, you mean? Well, that little creature hates me. Perhaps she does. But she's in love with Robin. And you can kill two birds with one stone. How? By getting your revenge on Robin and by confiscating Lady Marion's fortune. Well, I don't understand you, Gisborne. I don't see how I can do either of these things. But, Your Highness, it is possible. A lot of witches have been burnt lately. Think what would happen if somebody swore on his honour that Lady Marion had been practising witchcraft. She'd be burnt. Oh. Yes, she'd be burnt. And all her property would come to you, as Robin is her only relative. The law won't help him to get his cousin's property, as he's put himself outside the law. And what's more, the death of the woman he loves is about the only thing that could ever hurt him. That's a very interesting idea, Gisborne. Very interesting indeed. I must think it over. Well, little John, now that I've got more than 500 men with me in the forest, what's the only thing we need now? I know the answer to that, Robin. We need proper equipment, every man of us. Proper clothing, armour. Nonsense, what do we need equipment for? We've got our long bows, haven't we? Even if we've only got rags to wear, we can beat any of Prince John's men. No, what we need is a priest, so that we can have a proper service in the camp on Sundays. If that's all we need, I'll get you one straight away. There's a monastery not far from here. I'll break into it, grab one of the monks by his robe, and drag him here. <laughs> that's not the way to do it, little John. But just look over there, under that tree. Huh? The... Devil take me, Robin. If that isn't the fattest monk I've ever seen. It looks as though he's having a royal lunch, too. Wait here. I'm going to have a word with him. Oh, that chicken he's eating is making my mouth water. Bring me back a leg of it, Robin. Good day, Father. Oh, peace be with you, my son. I didn't know that monks ate so well, Father. Oh, there's nothing better than a full stomach to encourage saintly thoughts in a monk, my son. Uh, would you like a slice of uh, bread? I'd rather have half your chicken. Oh, no. You can have some bread. All right. 
What about a drop of that wine you've got? Uh, there's water in the stream over there, my son. I see. You refuse to give me either the chicken or some wine? Yes, by some Dunstan, I refuse. And what's more, I'm beginning to get a little annoyed with you. Go on your way. Not so fast. There's a little pond full of stagnant water behind you, Father. Mm -hmm. It's there. Would you like to have a swim in it? I wouldn't. But you're going to have one. Oh, really? Are you suggesting you're going to force me? Yes, I am, unless you give me half that chicken. By St. Anthony, you're going to have that swim. <laughs> How do you like it with the toads, Father? <laughs> You got me when I wasn't expecting it. But I'll be even with you yet. Help me to get out of here. This is it. Now, let's fight it out fairly. By St. Martin, who's that enormous rogue who's eating my chicken? That's my friend, Little John, the strongest man in the county. Well, I'm going to let him feel my stick. Look, uh, hurry up there. I can hardly wait to warm you up a bit. Oh. Enough of that. What's the use of fighting? Tell us your name, Father. You can call me Friar Tuck. You're just the sort of man I'm looking for, Friar Tuck. Would you like to conduct services for my men and me? For you? Oh, that scoundrel. May heaven preserve me from that. Watch out, Friar Tuck. Robin Hood's men are fairly touchy about their honour. Ah. Would either of you be Robin Hood by any chance? Uh, I am he. I've heard of you. And you want me to join you, eh? You've got all the qualities I want. You're brave, you're not frightened of a bit of fighting, and you're a monk. There's something else I can offer you which you weren't expecting. Oh? I can cook dishes fit for King Richard himself. Ah, well, do you accept, then? I accept for the sake of the poor, and because you seem to be a fine companion. I'll take services for you, say prayers for the wounded, and if it comes to a bit of fighting, well, it'll take a lot to hold me back. <laughs> <laughs> well said. <laughs> This fellow Robin Hood's becoming too dangerous, Gisborne. We've simply got to get rid of him. You're right, Your Highness. Yesterday he went so far as to attack the officers who were collecting the taxes. He had them all beaten, took the money and distributed it amongst the poor. Um, it can't go on, Gisborne. Anyway, I've worked out a plan to get rid of him. This is what we are going to do. Ah. We are going to arrange... <laughs> Yes, I heard it. I'm 70 years old, my girl, and I'd rather die of hunger than betray Robin Hood. Your Grace. Yes? There's a man who's asking to see you. Oh? Where is he? Here he is, Your Grace. Who are you? 
What do you want? Uh, my name's Jeering, Your Grace. I've come to tell you that there's a shopkeeper in Nottingham selling food in spite of Prince John's order. Well, you'll be hanged. Uh, uh, wait a moment, Your Grace. Uh, Robin Hood often goes to this shop. You could capture him there. Give me the reward. Oh, we'll see about that later. Lead the way there. The rest of you follow us. <laughs> 